A woman says she was the victim of a violent attack inside a high-end Carlsbad resort. She is accusing the front desk of handing out her room key without her permission. Our Team 10 investigative reporter Jennifer Kastner has the interview you will only see on 10 News. Jen. Well, she told us the attack only lasted about two minutes, but it felt like an hour. The resort is staying tight-lipped with us about this apparent security breach, but it's giving details to the courts. It got us wondering. Who's even in charge of overseeing security procedures at our San Diego hotels? I haven't felt safe since then. This is Jackie Renna's first time going on camera to talk about the night that still haunts her. A night that started as a perfect afternoon at the Omni La Costa Luxury Resort in Carlsbad. Suddenly I heard the door kind of jiggle and I thought, oh, they must be coming to get our plates. Renna and her boyfriend were finishing a meal inside their hotel room when she says her ex-husband was able to unlock the door and break through the security latch. I saw the key in his hand, so he had the key. He threw me um, over onto the bed. Uh, it was just, I could see rage in his face. Court documents claim he punched her boyfriend in the face, dragged him at least 20 feet, and kicked him in his head. Then he ran out to the parking lot, where Renna says he slashed her boyfriend's tires before leaving. Renna's boyfriend. He was, you know, had bruises and scrapes, and I think we were both really in shock. The Omni has a responsibility to provide safe and secure rooms to their guests. Attorney Robert Fitzpatrick is helping her sue the resort for negligence. His client says a hotel manager revealed this. He apologized and said that their front desk person had given the key to my ex-husband. Omni should never have given the key to the hotel room and they should not have disclosed the hotel room number. Hotel room attacks are uncommon, but it made headlines in Southern California. Disturbing security video out of Kern County shows a front desk worker handing a room key to a man accused of posing as a female guest's boyfriend before he reportedly fumbled with the room's people, went inside and sexually assaulted the woman while she was sleeping. He's seen running out with his pants around his ankles. He was convicted and a jury found the hotel partially responsible for the assault. Earlier this year, Police say the security video caught a pastor lurking outside of a Los Angeles hotel room, touching himself as he watched two girls who were alone inside. Officers report he later forced his way into the room and assaulted an 11-year-old. He's been charged but has pleaded not guilty. So who is responsible for making sure hotels in San Diego are keeping guests safe? 10 News went to the local Hotel Motel Association, the San Diego Tourism Authority, and a number of hotel negligence attorneys to get answers. None knew of any local, state, or federal authority that has oversight. Hotels are left to police themselves. Omni will not disclose its security policies or procedures with 10 News, and it denied us an interview about the lawsuit. But court records show it's trying to place at least some of the blame on the ex-husband by suing him and alleging he defrauded the hotel to get a key after he presented his identification, which had the same last name as his ex-wife, misrepresenting that he was staying with her. In addition to seeking monetary damages, Rena hopes her story will result in further training for front desk staff. If they were charmed, uh, if they were lied to, I don't know what the excuse was, but no excuse is good enough. For and the Omni says security for people staying there is of the utmost importance and it's always evaluating and updating its procedures. As for Rena, she's been having panic attacks and is in counseling. She travels for work and no longer feels safe in hotels. Jennifer Kastner, 10 News. Jen, thank you. If there is something you want our investigators to look into, send them an email to team10 at 10news.com.